Would you like to automatically pass data from one form to another? Well, let me show you how. Hey Jetformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm already in one of my forms. And like I mentioned, if you would like to take data from one form and automatically pass it to another one, this is going to be the easiest way to do that. Now, for this example, I'm going to be utilizing the two forms that Jotform offers us in the help article. So if you would like to duplicate this, you can do this along with me. So as you can see, I'm currently in form number one, right up here at the top, and we can see this is considered the source form. This is where the data is going to be pulled from. It is the source. Now, the second form that I have is going to be form two, and we can see here it is the target form. The source data is automatically going to be passed to our target form. So in order to get started, we need this form, our target form, form number two, we need its link. So first, I'm going to go to the very top. We're going to click publish, and I'm going to copy this link right here. So let's go ahead and copy. And before we head back over to form number one, one thing I want to make sure you are aware of is in the build tab, we need to verify the unique field IDs for all of the fields that we would like to pass data to. So for example, let's say join our mailing list. If we click on properties, we choose advanced and we come down here at the bottom where it says field details, we can see the unique name for the targets email field is going to be target underscore email. Now each one of these fields has their own unique name. So for example, phone number, advanced field is phone number with a capital N. So let's go ahead and check this would you like to receive communication. This one is a little bit different. Instead of being like drop down, it's actually the first two words of the question. It is would you with the Y capitalized. So now that we have that information and we have copied this form's URL. I'm gonna head back over to our source form. I'm gonna to head to our settings, and we are going to be utilizing the email section on the left-hand side. For this, we're gonna be utilizing the autoresponder. So if you don't already have an autoresponder email set up, make sure you go ahead and click add email and choose an autoresponder. I'm going to choose the pencil option. Then we're gonna scroll down to the bottom, and right at the very bottom, I'm going to place my cursor and click so that way it chooses is we're going to insert a link and we're going to paste in that target forms URL. Now we can start building in those parameters so that way it passes from this form to the next form. So in order to start, we need to have a separator. So we're going to put a question mark and I'm going to go ahead and paste in that we would like to send over the first name and the last name. So we can see here we have the question mark, we have name, then brackets first equals curly bracket name colon first close curly bracket. Then we have the and the ampersand assign to choose another field to fill. And then we have the last name. So let's go ahead and stick with this. So we can see that it's automatically updating our display name down here, which is perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick copy of the URL going to go ahead and do OK. And we can see it's populated down here. Then on the left hand side, we're going to choose our thank you page. We're going to do redirect to an external link after submission. Let's go ahead and paste that in there. We can see the first name and then the last name. Perfect. So let's go ahead and do a quick preview of this form. Let's do a fill form. So we can see we have John Smith. Let's go ahead and submit and we can see it automatically passed John Smith's name to our target form. So let's go ahead and go back and let's go ahead and fill out all of these other three with those parameters. So let's go ahead and head back to source form. We're going to turn off the preview. I'm going to head back to my email. We're going to edit and we're going to go ahead and scroll down. Now from here, I'm going to go ahead and copy this, delete it. Let's choose that link again. I'm going to paste it back in. So now, right now we have the first name and the last name, and I want to get everything else in here. If I choose OK, we can see here we have the source email, we have would you, and we have the phone number. We also have some comments, but I just want to pull in the three that the target form is needing. So let's go ahead and build that out. Go and choose the link again. And we'll put an ampersand sign. I'm gonna go ahead and paste in. We have that target email equals the source email. We'll do the ampersand sign again, and we'll add in the would you, which is going to be the drop down option, yes or no. And we'll do the and again, 
and we'll do phone number is going to equal open curly bracket, phone number, closed curly bracket. Perfect. Let's go ahead and copy this, paste it down the text to display. Okay. And we'll save, show our thank you page, and we'll update this link here. And let's preview form, fill form. So we have john at example.com. Yes. And then one, 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 one. Let's go ahead and submit. And we can see it went ahead and passed all of that data for us. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to automatically pass data from one form to another, definitely let us know down below in the comments. And again, be sure to check out that help article for more information. If you like this video and you got some value, definitely hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.